got a new laptop. So let's celebrate by having a what happened on my universe mode pay-per-view special. And it's Night of Champions and we were in New York, New York. Which I'm assuming is Madison Square Garden. We open with an intercontinental title match between Ken Shamrock and the number one contender, Bad News Barrett. He knows it, Cole. I don't think I've ever met him. A... Shamrock here? began the match in the ascendancy, but quickly had that taken away from him when Bad News Barrett what caught him mid-move. And then began doing a few moves of his own, including backbreakers and side slams, before chucking him to the outside. Despite getting driven to the mat on the outside, Ken Shamrock was up again and quickly reversing Bad News Barrett's offense. He then hit a DDT on the outside and began working on the leg, Ken Shamrock style. Back in the ring, Fisherman Suplex, more working on the leg, and then he ate a big boot before getting thrown into the corner and beaten down by Bad News Barrett, who then choked him. Barrett was looking to end it, so he bent for the powerbomb. But unfortunately for him, Ken Shamrock was able to wriggle out of it and follow that with a belly to belly. After working on the leg for a bit and smashing Barrett in the head with a double axe handle, he hit a Northern Light suplex and followed that with a Hurricane Rana. And then it was ankle lock time and he held it on for ages. But for some reason, Barrett had managed to not tap. He used every bit of effort to not tap and that effort could have been used to kick out there. Meaning Ken Shamrock won by a pinfall for a change. The second match was the Divas title and Trish Stratus was challenging Paige. The match began with Trish Stratus like a house on fire. She began punching and hurling Paige all over the place, including to the mat right here in that flapjack, before hurling the back of her head to the mat again and then into the corner. But after that, Paige was ready for her and hit a dragon screw to take her down. A Russian leg sweep was after that, and then a nice clothesline. Trish tried to reverse, but unfortunately for her, she just ate another clothesline from Paige, who followed that with a dirty German suplex. Luckily for Trish, though, her aim was off on the next move and was able to move out of the way. Or at least, just stay where she was, because Paige missed her, and Trish was in control, hitting several moves, including a nice back suplex off the top rope. Another couple of moves followed before Paige was able to reverse and hurl Trish into the corner and near in the gut. And then, a face wash. Haven't seen that in a while. Paige held the control until Trish moved out of the way of one of her kicks and threw her into the corner. Then, a hurricane runner off the top rope, which was nice, but it wasn't enough, as they started reversing each other's moves completely. Once Paige finally had Trish in the corner, she hit snake eyes, and then a Paige turner, and then finally, the Rampage, and Trish Stratus was down for good. Paige retains the Divas title. Wow. I didn't expect Trish Stratus to... Next up was the tag team titles and two teams with a little bit of a history recently as Luke Harper and Eric Ryan defended the tag titles against the primetime players Titus O'Neil and Darren Young. Darren Young started it with a clothesline and a DDT. Darren Young held the advantage for a little longer, but after a couple of moves, Luke Harper reversed and then hit a European uppercut before tossing Darren Young about like a ragdoll. He tagged into Eric Rowan and they double teamed him for a bit, but once he was on his own, Darren Young reversed and tagged into Tice O'Neill. O'Neill sent Rowan to the outside, booted him in the face and then kneed him a lot, six times to be exact, but after six, Rowan had enough and pounced. Tyus O'Neill sending him down while hitting a horrible choke slam, which really should have gone through the announce table. Back in the ring, Rowan clotheslined and smashed Tyus O'Neill, but it wasn't enough, and O'Neill slammed him, tagged out, and Darren Young took control, hitting him several times until Rowan threw him into his corner and tagged into Luke Harper. And Luke Harper back suplexed him after a little bit of double teaming, but when Luke Harper tried to take out Tyus O'Neill, Tyus O'Neill kicked him in the face. And Darren Young was back in control, but before Darren Young could tag out, Luke Harper reversed his neckbreaker, clotheslined him, threw him down, and then did a big dirty clothesline again. And he wasn't getting up, and Titus O'Neil couldn't reach him to save him. So the tag team champions retain. Something that seems to have been going on forever is Kofi Kingston's pursuit of Big Show's World Heavyweight Championship. And he got his third and final chance at winning it on this event. 
When he tried to do moves though, Big Show was saying no and threw him back before throwing him down onto the mat and booting him in the face. Kingston was not having any luck in this match as he kept eating fists to the gut and getting slammed down, but he used every ounce of effort he had to get a jawbreaker on Big Show to get the advantage. A clothesline and a springboard crossbody followed, but soon enough Big Show was back in control, hitting a side slam. He started working on the leg for some reason, but after that it was back to normal, or it would have been if Kofi didn't reverse. But then Big Show reversed, but then Kofi reversed again, and it was a big roll reversal which ended with Kofi kicking Big Show in the leg. Following that with a crucifix and another crossbody off the top rope. Kofi was in the mood and after a knee drop and a leg drop off the top rope he hit a couple of drop kicks. But soon enough Big Show was back in control with a takedown and then a choke toss. He butt bumped Kofi into the corner and then threw him across the ring before stepping on him. He picked him up, he went for the spear but Kofi reversed and hit a DDT. And then another DDT, Big Show was drowsy, he went for the SOS. One, two, no, he was so close, so he went to the top rope, but as he did that, Big Show caught him, hit him with a side breaker, and then locked on a massive submission hold, and Kofi had to tap. He was so close, but the Big Show retained the world title. The only non-title match of the evening was next, and Edge took on Stardust in a feud that's been getting a bit personal recently. And it began with Edge slamming Stardust. And Stardust running away. He went to the outside and tried to keep running. But eventually when he got back in, Edge followed and he punched Edge in the face. He hit a bulldog, but that was about it. Edge reversed, kicked, and then it was suplex. Suplex. Working on the arm a little bit and then suplex. Northern Lights at the end there. Then Stardust reversed. Doorbreaker, elbow to the head. Unlike how his daddy does it. A few moves in, he hit a Michinoku driver, but was then quickly reversed again by Edge. The veteran took control once again and hit the Impaler DDT. But after that, he reversed, hit another elbow like his daddy does. A few more moves and a crossroads. And in speculation, he went for the pin. And the veteran was down for the free count, surprisingly. A shock win for Stardust, and after the match, he beat him down a bit more because he's a cunt. The penultimate match was for the US title as Dean Ambrose challenged champion Brock Lesnar. And this time it was in extreme rules. But it didn't change the fact that Brock Lesnar tends to always start the matches by beating the shit out of his opponent. And after a clothesline, a takedown, and a German suplex, he finally got up again. Hit a drop kick, raking Brock's back, and hitting a bulldog. After beating his face a few times, Brock reversed and went back to work. And because it was extreme rules, Brock headed to the outside to grab a chair. And when Dean Ambrose joined him, he joined his face with the chair. He then went for a table, but Dean Ambrose was able to reverse after that one, hitting a Russian leg sweep and ramming Brock's head into the floor before throwing Brock into the corner post and back into the ring. Ambrose continued with a tornado DDT, but when he went for Brock after that, Brock reversed and then hit three German suplexes before bringing the table in and hitting Dean Ambrose with it, then hitting Dean Ambrose with a chair and tossing Dean Ambrose off the top rope where he missed the table, but that gave him the opportunity to set the table on fire and put his feet through it with a takedown. Dean Ambrose then took control when he kicked out. Dean Ambrose rammed Brock Lesnar with a couple of moves before locking on the arm trap cross leg SCF as the commentators put it, but Brock Lesnar would not tap because he doesn't tap. He then reversed with a fireman's carry Three more German suplexes came after that, and the F5, and unfortunately for Dean Ambrose, he was not able to kick out and was not able to win the United States Championship. Brock angrily took it instead. It was now time for your Knight of Champions main event, and the Eater of Worlds Bray Wyatt once again challenged WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. Would Bray Wyatt follow the buzzards to victory, or would we be saying, yes, Daniel Bryan has retained his title? Well, it's fun to find out, isn't it? And Bray started with an elbow to the back, but when he threw Daniel Bryan to the ropes, Daniel Bryan reversed with an arm drag. He then tried to lock in a dragon sleeper, but Bray was close enough to the ropes. But he wasn't close enough to the ropes enough to stop a Northern Knight suplex. 
Bray did get the advantage back eventually, though, with a fireman's carry and a punch to the face. He then hit his diving cross body and a gut wrench suplex, but Daniel Bryan had enough of it after that, blocked his chop, hit him a few times, and then hit Bray Wyatt with a dirty German suplex. Bray Wyatt, though, went to the outside, went for a clothesline, but Daniel Bryan reversed again, and then an airplane spin! After that, Bray Wyatt decided that was enough Daniel Bryan offense for the time being and threw him into the steps a couple of times, bringing him back into the ring with a swinging gut wrench and a pump handle slam. But Daniel Bryan wasn't up for that. He hit a fireman's carry reversal and started beating on Bray, kicking him in the face. He then hit a snapmare and locked in a rest hold. But Bray Wyatt was not ready to rest. He reversed the rest hold, slammed him down, and then hit his Uranage thing. I think it's an Uranage anyway. He went for the pin. Daniel Bryan wasn't going to stay down for the free count there. He reversed. And Bray Wyatt wasn't going to stay down for the free count either. It was getting exciting. But then Bray Wyatt hit Sister Abigail. One, two, kick out. He kicked out of Sister Abigail. After the sent on though, Bray Wyatt. Well, that was it. He was doing the creepy walk. He went down. And he hit the sister Abigail again. And would Daniel Bryan stay down for the free? Yes, he would. Bray Wyatt is your new WWE champion. Hope you've enjoyed. Come back again on What Happened on My Universe Mode. Like and subscribe.